In playing a solid and tight aggressive style in your online poker tournaments, you are going to notice something rather soon, and that is you will often become short stacked in a tournament, meaning your stack is generally smaller than most of the players at your table and likely the entire field of players in the tournament. So the question is, is this a bad thing? Well, without debating the merits of playing tight or loose in a tournament, you will be a short stack very often, no matter what your style of play. So you need to have a rather sharp perspective on short stack strategies with a view to maximizing your opportunities to double up and get back in the tournament. Every successful poker tournament player will tell you that at one point or another they have won a tournament after coming back from being a short stack. The key is to not give up and pay close attention to your best opportunity to get back into the tournament. Depending on the starting stack of each player, a short stack size can vary, but you can measure this by how many big blinds your stack can cover. For instance, if the current big blind is 500 and your stack is 3200, then you can cover six big blinds. That is rather much considered a short stack in any tournament. In fact, any stack under 10 big blinds would be considered short under normal conditions. If you have more than that, your situation may not be so critical and you likely have enough in your stack to wait for a better opportunity. When short stacked, you should be looking to double up through one opponent and look at any coin flip situations as your ticket to a deeper payout. You're waiting for hands like little pairs or better, moderate strength aces, or suited aces, or even just a couple of paint cards. Needless to say, your risk toleration is wide open here because you don't really want to be so short that you end up all in in a hand with multiple opponents. If you are in the blinds as a short stack and only one player has raised pre-flop, you might want to try that stop and go play we discussed in another video, which can be a very effective play as a short stack. It's also important to note that you would want to take even more risks if you are in late position and everyone has folded to you. Stealing the blinds to keep alive for another round or two can pay huge dividends if you happen to go on a good card run or you have tight opponents in the blinds. I don't know what I have. <laughs> he, I had a deuce. Wow, he didn't even look at his cards. I had a deuce. <laughs> Interesting hand. No five on the river. Dark. I know it. And he's going to do it against the guy that can call him. The, uh... If you can determine even the slightest edge of making an aggressive play with a short stack, it's almost never a mistake to do so. And that often means shoving in a spot like this with any two cards. In fact, you can shove in blind here, not even knowing your cards. Thanks for watching. In part two of this short stack strategy, we will look at some specific hands and the decision making process about whether or not to get involved in a hand at all. If you want to see more poker tutorials, visit the Poker School at pattypowerpoker.com.